so I haven't given up yet on our R9390 video card. You know, we tried applying the heat with just a hair blow dryer that was not enough. So right now I am dressed and ready to run out to Harbor Freight and I'm going to purchase a heat gun so that way we can heat this board up to 200 degrees and see if that will bring this board back to life. So yeah, my whole goal is to see if we can just basically bring this back to life uh, for the time being. And if I can, what I'm going to do is probably put this in my video computer or put this in my son's computer. And that way he'll have enough, uh, he'll have enough graphics memory for his gaming. So sit to the store. It's cold outside. <laughs> Got a big old tundra here. Big old tundra quickly dump the stuff in there so what we're going to do is take our heat gun that we purchased from harbor freight uh roughly 14 dollars and 99 cents plus taxes uh so that's a good deal we got some gloves too here these aren't necessary heat protective gloves but you know beats you know using my hands and getting my hands on this actual heat gun don't want to do that all around here mm -mm. At least I can kind of get a warning sign from using these gloves. So what I'm going to do is break this down back to the motherboard. Uh, then um, we'll get started on the process. I have it on this 2x4 uh, here. And that's because when we're heating the motherboard, it's going to get pretty hot. Basically, all that heat will penetrate to the wood, not the table or cloth or anything around that nature. All right, guys, we got all the hardware off. Um, we have our GPU cleaned up from the thermal paste. Now it's time to open this box up and see what we can do today. Now the unfortunate thing is I don't have any type of thermal reader. We're going to basically time our process. We're going to heat the gun up and then we're going to basically heat up the board for roughly five minutes. That should give us decent temps to reach at least 200. Um, that's basically what we need to warm up this GPU. Hmm, man, this thing smells like brand new. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love the smell of new electronics. I'll tell you that for a fact. Another good, another good thing about the 2x4 is that I can allow the heat gun to cool off without having to burn anything else. So again, these gloves are not heat resistant. However, they're better than my bare skin. All right, it shouldn't take that long for it to get warm. So now what we're gonna do is, now I'm gonna set my timer for five minutes. Actually, I'll take it up to seven, seven minutes and start. Once the timer beeps, then we'll stop. This thing is hot. This thing is hot. So you want to move the heat gun around. Keep it circulating. Kind of focus the tension on the actual CPU and then go around the board. CPU, around the board. You don't want to get too close because you don't want to nick the CPU. Again, it would have been much better if I had the actual thermal reader. Then that way I could tell like what the temperature is. But one thing I could say for a fact is this is much more hotter than a hair dryer. I gotta switch hands now. Good low. Now potentially, if you made this GPU too hot, you do put yourself at risk of one, damaging it. Two, uh, the GPU can get loose, and then therefore you need to take it to a uh, micro 
chip repair. But um, again, the reason why I'm taking this risk to do this process is to kind of show you guys. And two, I have a replacement. Since we already have a replacement video card. So that way if anybody is trying to do the same thing, they can pretty much watch my video, see the mistakes that I make, and learn from it. In addition, they can see if this works or if this does not work before they proceed with the process. For some reason my timer didn't show, but we're at two minutes left. Check the board. Woo! Wow, that's hot. The board is actually, I wouldn't say burning, but it's, it's hot. So imagine if I had it on this cloth. Woo! We'll be cooking. We should be at one minute now. 40 seconds. Switch hands. Not bad. Just a vibration. What's up with my timer? There it goes. That is time. This wood, let me see if I can get you guys to zoom in on the wood. I don't know if you guys can actually see that, but right here, that's where the wood started to uh, cake a little. <laughs> These gloves, they definitely they definitely do work because um, I'm touching this card and the card is warm. It's, I wouldn't even say warm, it's hot, but the gloves definitely work. Install it in the computer after we add some new dermal paste and I'll let you guys know what happens from here um, Again, this is the first time that I'm doing this Only reason why I'm doing this because I've seen some videos that basically state that if you take a uh, heat gun uh, to a Graphics card it will basically uh, if you take the heat gun and you apply heat to your video graphics card, uh, in particular one that is deemed to be dead and trash, um, it may bring it back to life. Again, this is not a guarantee. Uh, this is pretty much uh, just a you know trial and error. See what happens. Uh, first time that I'm doing this, so you know you guys get to be a part of that process. Um, if this does work, you know you guys may get some sort of tip on how to potentially repair your uh, graphics card that you know that you deem this trash to see if you can bring it back to life alright guys so this video card is now assembled and we are ready to put it in a computer to see if we were able to temporary uh, I'm gonna call it a temporary fix uh, so that way we can get this graphics card to project a image and not blue screen our computer <laughs> we'll see all right guys as you can see we got our 390 and our 370 the 370 is the four gigs uh, video graphics card that we have currently in my video computer uh, and the 390 is the one that we've been working on so this is the heat sink on the 370 and that's the heat sink on the 390 370 390 8 gigs 4 gigs card is installed let's hit that power button lights on let's see what we got let's see do we have the yellow line oh look at that no yellow line look at that no yellow line okay Let's see, can we boot past BIOS? Oh, look at that, guys. Just look at that, guys. Hold up. Who's that guy? Oh, that is me. Oh, that's me. Whoa, look at that truck. Oh, my gosh. Such a beautiful truck. 
Ah, oh, guys, this is wonderful. This looks absolutely wonderful, guys. Just look at that, guys. It's crazy. And there we go, guys. R9 390. Check that out. 1%. But now, if I press play here, now you can see the video moving. Um, let's go back to Task Manager. And as you can see, our GPU right now is at 3%. DJI Level 2. So I just applied that loop to here. Let's look at the difference. Just for the sake of us doing a test, we're going to render this effect. So right now this effect is rendering. Uh, let's go back to our task manager and now our GPU has gone up to 10%, 11, 14. So it's going up there. Um, it's still rendering. Software has not uh, experienced any issues. It's looking good thus far. All right, guys, and just like that, we were able to restore the video to my graphics card using a heat gun from Harbor Freight. I spent roughly 15 bucks for this, you know, plus the gloves. So we're we'll probably rounded off $16. But for $16, guys, well, you know, just to add some gas too, because that is a gas guzzler. But you know, so we're we'll rounded off. Probably cost me about $19 because of the trip <laughs> either, either way guys it was worth it guys we were able to restore the video signal for my graphics card and I absolutely love it it's it's right now doing some work uh, encoding some videos in Adobe Premiere it's doing what I bought it for and again that graphics card I got it for 50 bucks I got two of them uh, for 50 bucks each so doing this experiment wasn't a loss because I spent so little for my graphics card. I'm a bargain guy. I love to find deals online for used computer parts. Bought two cards for 100 bucks, repaired one for 20 bucks. That's a win. That's a win. What I highly recommend for anyone that has a graphics card that is not working, I highly recommend this video, guys. Try out the steps that I've tried using the heat gun and see if that helps and for those who are going to purchase a heat gun I highly recommend that you guys get like one of the temperature gauge so that way you guys can check the temperature that this heat gun is producing to this motherboard so that way you can kind of see that okay we're at 200 uh, maybe want to bump it up to 250 honestly up to your preference guys what you guys want to do I thought of doing the whole series of troubleshooting with this card because I deemed it as a you know It's a $50. It's a card that I bought for $50 It's not working. It's trash, but before I actually throw it away. Let me try something out. Okay, don't just give up Let me try something out. I'm an IT professional. Let me try something out if it breaks, it's already broken, you know? It's already broken. What more damage can I do to a video card that's not working? That risk that I took, <laughs> it was highly worth it. And it was definitely highly worth purchasing a heat gun. Love it. Love it. So that is it for today's video. Please do not forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, I also would appreciate you guys if you guys could share this video because I'm pretty sure there are other gamers out there that have video graphics cards that are just sitting on the shelf because, you know, they're not working. Your situation may just be as simple as just changing the thermal paste. Try to troubleshoot before you actually throw something away and have to come out of pocket for another expensive purchase because you know these graphics cards <laughs> they are not cheap especially since you know big one came into play you know they are not cheap so if you can save it more power to you guys all right guys peace